I'm Haley Grip, and I'm from Southern California. I love cooking, I like road trips, and I love helping people, and I have Tourette syndrome. I'm Eric McGowan, I'm from Kansas City, um, but I now live in Los Angeles. Um, I really like music and helping people and the kids however I can through the SoCal uh, TAA chapter, and my connection to Tourette's is that I have Tourette's. I, I'm gonna just take this okay. one. What does a diagnosis of Tourette's syndrome mean to you? When I was diagnosed at age 10, the doctor looked me in the eyes and said, Haley, you have Tourette's syndrome and you will never have control of your body. I looked at him and I told him no. And that day, I remember telling myself, Haley, you just died today. But now I'm 24 and it's been 14 years since my diagnosis, 16 since my symptoms. <clears throat> and that was the day that I woke up. There are days when I hate my diagnosis and days where I think, I wouldn't trade it for the world. <clears throat> when the world thinks of Tourette, what do you want them to think of? I have it, and that's how it is. Yeah. And luckily, I've been able to thrive with it. And because of that, I like to use my voice. I don't really have a platform, but if you want to call it a platform, to speak and to help, to speak for and to help others. I know how hard it can be because yeah. I lived, and so do you, because yeah. we've lived through it, and we're still living through it. <clears throat> What are things that help you better manage your tics and any OCD, ADHD, et cetera? <clears throat> I could take the easy way out and say that I have an <clears throat> amazing OCD pill that, so I, I don't go crazy. But um, for <clears throat> my tics itself, um, it used to be more of CBIT, of replacing a tic with a more socially acceptable tic, <clears throat> but now, it's just about educating those people around me because once they know, I don't take as much mm -hmm. or it's not as stressful for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much mm -hmm. about finding something to make them better, but just having mm -hmm. a more positive environment is the world. I've definitely found that just being straightforward and yeah. honest when someone asks you what's wrong, it's like, oh, I have threat. And they're like, oh, okay. And sometimes yeah. they're like, what's that? And it's like, oh, I just, make funny yeah. sounds and faces, and I can't help it. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then it usually never comes up again. If that's exactly, someone you yeah. see, yeah. That's cool. I have a question for you that I'm curious about. Bring it. <clears throat> okay, you say um, how big a part <clears throat> of music is your life. When you play, <clears throat> I know when I do things, like when I cook, my ticks, <clears throat> I don't tick. When <clears throat> you play music, is that your special thing? That is my absolute escape. I can just pick up my guitar, and totally get lost in it. No pressure, the music's always been a nice escape. That's just cool. like cooking for you. Yeah, just like cooking. Sometimes when my Tourette's is really, really bad, I cook all the food in my house. Hopefully you don't like slam oil in the pan and like. No, 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 no. It's, it's more <clears throat> of not just cooking, but sharing the meal with friends, people mm -hmm. that I care about and whatnot, the close relationships. Um, where you just feel safe. I don't even realize I tick, mm -hmm. and they don't <clears throat> even acknowledge it. Yeah, if you do, they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do that. I, people will be <clears throat> like, oh, did you know you just <clears throat> asked me if I was a chimpanzee on the railroad? And I go, really? <laughs> and till this day, I, yeah. I still say chimpanzee on a railroad and hippopotamus on a railroad, and I still don't know where either one came from. Nice. Great talking to you on the East Coast. I yes. will see you back on the, the West, West Coast. Coast.